All right. Yeah. Hi, Hi, how are you? Nice. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you for all your tour. Of course, yeah. of course. I love it. Should I take this off? I don't know. I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay. I like it. So, yeah, so tell me about yourself. Like, what is your mission as an artist? Like, I know it's a lot of work so yeah. to be at this point. There's a difference between being a creative person and being a professional artist. Yeah. What is the difference between it? Yeah, I've spent most of my life being just creative, and I didn't think that I was an artist. I thought I was just being creative. Mm -hmm. And um, only in the last few years, once I started to talk more and more about it and then sell the work, mm -hmm. I guess I realized that I'm an artist because I have something to say and a whole body of work and mm -hmm. infinite possibilities of things to create. Uh, my mission is to uh, continue to learn what this means and um, receive any messages that come through either the line and the meditation or through people that I have conversations with about the art or about you know anything. Um, so to continue to realize that you know we don't know anything in this world about what's going to happen next and to surrender to that and to allow yourself to to embrace life as it's happening for you to remember it's happening for you not to you especially when things yeah. don't go your way so life uh, pretty much never goes your way but I think that it, it gives you things better than you could have planned so for me the mission is to just continue learning about the meaning and what it can what it can do, the power of the power of that kind of conversation. Yeah. yeah. What kind of advices would you give yourself like five years ago in the future? I guess to um I mean I guess the thing I'm most proud of is like the risk I took to get the studio. Because at the time I was working as an actor in LA and I was always being creative and making this art, but um I actually had a friend who helped me yeah, come on, get a studio, you know, so to take the risk of getting a space that you actually work in instead of working at home or like in friends' houses. So, um, yeah, if I could have done that sooner, I would have probably made more art. But um, getting the space to work in, whether it be something you pay for, a studio you find, or even just, I, before I had the studio, I worked at the back of a friend's like rug store. <laughs> and he let me have like a little section. And so I didn't have to like start and stop a lot of my projects. So I could just keep everything there. Um, so even if it's finding that, that will help you become more creative and, um, committed. yeah, committed and um, just more, you know, intrigued to experiment. Like all these are experiments. So I mean, my mission is to continue experimenting on larger scales and with different materials and in different topics and subjects that come up. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. So there's, there's, um, yeah, there's a lot of things I don't know, and I'm excited that I don't know them. Uh, okay. That's the beauty of life. Yeah. The unexpected. Is, yeah. If we knew what everything was going to turn out to be, then it wouldn't be nearly as fun. That's yeah. true. Yeah. And how about the five years in the future? What do you like? What would you recommend yourself? Like, not to, you know, you, you have some kind of dreams right now, not mm -hmm. to give up maybe or something. Like, what yeah. do you want to still remember? And I think to, um, to continue to fantasize. And all these things that I've written down or tell people like, oh, I want to make, you know, a life-size version of this to go for it, to find a way to make it and not keep things in the theoretical, you know. If you have a creative idea and you want to see it as a sculpture, then make some kind of sculpture, even if it's not the one you'll make then, you know. Everything is a process. There's no wasted time or wasted creativity. Like the paper plates that I drew on at a party, like I kept them because that could be the beginning of a whole process that could lead to something else, you know. So there's no like wasted creativity. People say, oh, what happens if you mess up? And I say, well, I try not to, so I kind of <laughs> don't. <clears throat> um, but uh, if I do, but if I do and something happens that I don't want, um, like a pen breaks or like, I don't know, something drops on it, I would find a way to like turn it into something else. Like oh, I would never throw it away. I would like rip it up and then tape it back together or somehow celebrate the mistake because it's not a mistake, it's just what happened. You know, we put these words on things and we say, oh, this is yes. wrong, or this is a mistake, or this is a regret. But those are all just words that we can use to, like, hurt ourselves. Yeah. And say, like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have been there, and I shouldn't have done this. Which is all normal, but it's kind of a waste of time. Yeah. So you can just say, this is what happened, and you like it or you don't. Um, so it's celebrate curiosity. Creativity. Yeah. yeah, celebrate curiosity. curiosity. Yeah, explore your curiosities, explore your um, the things you want to experiment with. Like when I first started making these pieces, I, I went to the art store and I just bought all these mm -hmm. things I didn't know what to do with. 
So I bought carving tools and paints and I didn't even know what to do with them. So like these last five years, it's just experimenting with all of them. And I'm always going to like, yeah, the art store, just buying things that I don't know what, what they are. Yeah. Um, is there any artist that you all look up to? Who, who inspires you? Um, yeah, I don't know if I have a good answer for that. I mean, who am I going to say? <laughs> maybe not artists, maybe uh, um, people, person, feelings. Whatever, like, makes yeah. you feel, like, I don't know. living um, a moment, or... Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I don't know if there's, like, yeah, I don't know if there's anyone in, like, I think, I, I don't think I really derive my inspiration from, mm -hmm. from that. It's more based on just my curiosity. That's a good answer. I mean, I'll that's, I'll take it. you know, <laughs> like, if I go to, like, I'm going to go to Basel and see all this amazing art, and, of course, I'll be inspired by what I see. And, mm -hmm. Definitely like, oh, well, I want to try something like that or try, use that material. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be inspired by what I see for sure. But I feel like most of it comes out of just my own curiosity. Mm -hmm. So I want to, mm -hmm. you know, continue to be inspired by that. Cool. Would you recommend some kind of books, podcasts, maybe TV show, like yeah. something to mm -hmm. educate artists to be like not just creative person, to be artist? Yeah, I think... Um, to live life in the most daring way, to travel, to see other countries, to eat other food. I mean, that's the best education, you know. I'm sure there's a lot of books I could recommend. Um, I read one called uh, When Things Fall Apart by Pema Kodron. She's a, a Buddhist monk. And that influenced me a lot about a lot of this and the meaning of uh, accepting your reality when it's cold and rainy. You could tell yourself, like, it's cold and rainy and I'm suffering, I don't like this. Or you could just say, this is what Mother Nature feels like when it's cold. Mm -hmm. um, so I got a lot of really cool things from that book about life. Uh, and I was reading it for life reasons, you know. Uh, and because uh, someone recommended it, but it, you know, ended up helping me create and even explain. Uh, that with, you know, some other books that are on that topic of acceptance and surrender. Um, so, yeah, I think... I think traveling, if you have the itch to travel or to go to another country or another state, you know, I think that's where yeah. you can find a lot of inspiration. I'm so down, especially California. Like, California is the best place. Yeah, best I need to get out more in California, for sure. I mean, even here, you can go to mountains. So yeah, fine. exactly. Yeah, I mean, thank yeah. you so much for your tour. Yeah, of course. Like, it's so exciting. Like, I'm going to make some video for Yay. you so you can post. Thank you, thank you. It's going to help you. I don't know. It's going to help. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Oh, I'm so glad <laughs> We only met once for like 30 minutes. We had, like, yeah. a, we had a conversation and yeah. And then the friends were sitting Yeah. 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 yeah, so thank you. Yeah. How, how was the next party? Um, the next party was 